familiar? Hello. Larry. Larry Pollock. Hi, Larry Pollock. Who is this? Who do you think it is? Mark. Yes. What are you doing? Are you not even smart enough to leave before this embarrassment? Yeah. <laughs> is this a recording? <laughs> we're, we're taping this, so be careful. Okay. Are we ready to go? I'm ready. Are you ready, Larry? I... No, I mean, are we on? Are we, are we yes. Con are we connected to all the wonderful folks at KFSN? Yes, we are, Larry. And can they hear me? I... Yeah. Yes. I can hear them. Yes. That's good. That's good. They're stuffing themselves with cake, but that's all right. I didn't get any cake. Well, I'll, I'll try and make this as unflattering but truthful as I can. <laughs> I can appreciate that. How many people you got out there? Right now? Yes. Probably about 110, 120. Wow. It's, well, that's pretty good. We only tell you there are 100 working here, but there are several that we hide. <laughs> Well, let me just start and try and be a, a little serious anyway, if, uh, if I may. First, let me just start with the obvious, that I feel very badly that uh, I'm not out with you in, uh, in person today and that I can wish both Marsha and you, Mark, you know, all the best. Um, most of you don't know this, but uh, Mark Edwards, in one of his early lives, was the promotion manager at WTEN in Albany. Um, I was hired then as the general sales manager and joined our company, which was then Capital Cities. And he called me on the telephone, and during the discussion, he asked how old I was. I remember to this day, he really got mad and upset because he said to me, you're even younger than I am. <laughs> I, ju I, I just want to make sure that all of you, but particularly you, Mark, understand that, that you're still a lot older than I am. <laughs> That, that changed over the years, Larry. Yeah. I, think I became yeah. younger as you matured. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Um, my wife, uh, Carol, and I have known Marsha and Mark uh, ever since. And uh, it's been our good fortune to manage to stay friends uh, through these many years and many different cities and meetings and markets. I remember when I moved to uh, Buffalo in 1965. I suspect a few of you listening may not have even been born in 1965. Um, <laughs> When I moved there, Marsha and Mark were the only couple who invited me to a wonderful home-cooked dinner during all those lonely, blizzardly months before my family followed, and I've never forgotten that. Uh, there are so many things that they've done for me and my family in, in, in the past. Uh, just a few years ago on my birthday, Carol and Marsha, uh, Carol suggested to Marsha, told them I had kind of a special birthday coming up. So Marsha created a beautiful portrait of our home in suburban Philadelphia. It hangs very proudly in our den, and our guests are always asking about it. She's, Marsha, you're just terrific, as you know. Um, Thank you. Thank I don't you. have to tell you that, or I don't have to tell any of you that Mark has been a wonderful executive and leader throughout his career. Not too many people have gone from an all-night DJ at a rock and roll radio station <laughs> to, the, to the president and general manager of a top-rated television station. I remember other things about the work. I remember when I was the GM in Buffalo, I was always very happy when national business was going up about 5%. But typically on a Friday afternoon, I managed to ask Mark about local and Canadian sales which were his responsibility before I left for the weekend, so I would be in a good mood. He regularly turned in 10 to 20 percent increases. He was good. Dudley, he was good. <laughs> On the serious side, if I may, uh, Mark has personified what I think and believe Capital Cities and now ABC has always represented. He's competitive. He's tough, he's very loyal to his people, and he does it all with great style and personal integrity. I know many of you share these sentiments with me, and I know you'll miss him just as I will, but knowing Mark and Marsha and their growing family, I suspect that they will stay in touch. As I think about it, as I sign off here, I've called Mark by his name Mark about half the time, <laughs> And Arnie, by that other name, Arnie, about the other half of the time. If 
you don't know what I'm referring to, you might ask he or Marsha after this, uh, after your little presentation's over. So I really don't know how to close this brief message, except maybe I have to thank both Mark and Arnie <laughs> for his friendship through the years and to wish all his family only the best in the years to come. Uh, let me all thank Jeff Jordan and your other very capable technical people for arranging uh, this feed. It's, it's been a privilege for me to have this opportunity. And not you, Mark, but I'll see most of the rest of you pretty soon. And goodbye. <laughs> Larry, Larry, don't go away. Okay. St Larry, I just want to thank you very much for the lovely things you've said. And, and in, in terms of one of the things I said in, in the memo I wrote to everybody back a month or so ago, I, I want to underline that, that you and people like you at this company have just made my life such a, a wonderful experience, and I'm, I will be eternally grateful for all the experiences and all the times we've had, and uh, thank you very much, Larry. Well, you better stop before we both cry. Yeah, I'm thinking, I was, I was thinking about that just as I said it. Hey, everyone enjoy yourself. Thanks, Larry. And, and, and Marsha, thanks for everything. Let's try and stay in touch. Thank, thank you. Bye-bye. What are you bringing? You're bringing Lowell Thomas back from the grave or something? Just. <clears throat> uh, oh, jeez. Uh, is he paying for this call? <laughs> oh, that's very kind. Yeah, well, it's, uh, it's... It gets late back there. He was ready to go play tennis or something. I can't remember what it was. Now, if he's had a couple of martinis, he might be in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> okay, are we ready to go? Okay, here we go. Let's go ahead and say hello to Chris. Hey, Phil. Uh, this is Walter West. Ah, <laughs> I don't think so. Uh, are you guys all working or are you over, on overtime? This is all overtime, Phil. This is not an effective situation we've got here. I'm very nervous about it. Is Lois there? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you has got a long distance. We're far away, you Mark. Are you paying for this call or are we? Are you kidding? Mickey Mouse is paying for this call. <laughs> <laughs> My God, I understand you're on an IFB. Yes, I am. And everybody uh, that's else. Where, that's where you started on an IFB. <laughs> Except the one I started on never worked. That's because you didn't know how to coordinate your feet and your eyes. Yeah, that's true. That's do true. They know that, do they know that story? God, I hope not. <laughs> they probably do. I'm awful glad that you, they, finally, they finally found you. How they, I thought you had your birth certificate altered. I did. <laughs> hey, I mean, you must be about 74 now, aren't you? Close, close, very close. I'm glad you're a lot older than I am, boy, I'll tell you. <laughs> Is Dudley still there? Yes. Yeah. Is he there? You selling anything lately? Once <laughs> in a while, Phil. Gee, what is? How about Angelo? He must be a hundred years old. <laughs> Are you there, Angelo? No, he doesn't show up till three o'clock. He never did. <laughs> <laughs> How about Virginia Wilson? Is she there? Yeah, yeah Vaz here. Oh, that's wonderful. And Huddleston, is Huddleston still there? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. He never worked a day of his life. <laughs> oh, geez. You're going to create a lot of problems here, Phil. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, for an Atlantic weatherman, you sure went a long way, Mark. Yes, I did. Well, how's Marsha? Marsha's terrific. Is she there? Yes, she is. Thanks, Good. Give her a big kiss for me. All right. You know, did you talk to Pollock? Yes, I did. He was, he was uh, short-winded for a change. He, uh, he remembered my name. That's strange. <laughs> You've been hiding out there so long, everybody's forgotten you. This is Phil. I've told you many times. You, you really missed it. This is the best job in the company. I always said that. I always said that uh, until Walter got it. <laughs> you know, you c it could have been worse talking to Pollock for a long time. It could have been Liss. <laughs> Holy mackerel. Well, he talks a little slower. I know. I, I would have been here you know, 4 4.50 or 5 or 30 He's got, for you. he's got to be happy, though. We just renewed Regis and Kathy Lee at a big increase. Yeah, 
say, well, that's good. That's incestuous. <laughs> <laughs> so how, how are things going? How's Moscatelli? Is he there? Yeah, he's here. Yeah, there he is. Tell him the sound is crummy. <laughs> Oh, well, Arnie, I'll yeah. tell you, I'll tell you, I, I, everybody in the crowd, I knew this guy uh, when he had baggy pants. I still do. No, you don't still have baggy <laughs> pants. But uh, it's, uh, it's exciting, uh, Mark. Uh, what are you finally going to do to earn a living? Uh, just absolutely nothing. Uh, that's what you tell me. I don't believe that for a minute. Well, no, we're not going to do anything for a while and just to uh, see how it feels to do nothing. Is Vonnie there by chance? Yes. Yeah. Is, this, is this just the staff? No, there's some people. Vonnie is here. You mentioned... Good. Vonnie oh. and Ed are here. Joe, Joe and Sharon. Oh, hey, hey, hey I'll be damned. He's still in business? <laughs> <laughs> He's been on the station. I can remember I turned down the first order he ever gave me. <laughs> he was too cheap. Oh, jeez. <laughs> some things never change. <laughs> I turned on him. He wanted to have some flitty guy walk through his store. I said, "It doesn't look like your store, Joe." I think that I think maybe uh, he never heard. He never had anybody turn down business before. Huh. Yeah. What did he say? He said, "You finally took it." Yeah, we sure did. We took it for a long time, didn't we? Yeah. Well, that's just great. That's just great. You have a great city. Where are you? I'm at home, overlooking uh, the lake in our oh. house, north of the city. The city is, you mean San Francisco? No, 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 there is another city, <laughs> the important city. Oh, jeez. No, I'm 40 miles north of New York. We have an apartment in New York, but we live up here in the country most of the time. Since I'm uh, retired, remember what that is? I, I re I'm going to look it forward to it, Phil, yes. I'm retired. I only work uh, seven days a week now. That's terrific. <laughs> right, right. Well, it's just great to talk to you all. I, uh... Anybody got any questions? <laughs> no, I don't think so. I always like to ask the staff what questions they had because I could, never knew uh, what was on their minds. I, uh, I don't answer questions. I see. <laughs> I see. Well, I hope you have a good time, Arnie. Phil, it's terrific, and thank you very much for taking the time to do this. Come on and come. Well, they forced me to. They told me that uh, they were going to send me... <laughs> They were going to send me to Alaska. Oh. If I didn't call, somebody had to be called. I was the only guy who would volunteer. Larry had to do it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're all great people, and I'm very proud to know you, Arnie, and, uh, and uh, good luck to you. Thank you, Phil. And Thank you very much. All right. Stay warm, guys, and uh, let's have a round of applause for Arnie. <laughs> Hey, Arnie? Yes, Phil. About, did, how many people you got there? About uh, 150. <laughs> 130, 130 of them saying, who the hell is that guy? <laughs> <laughs> okay, take care, all. Thanks, Phil. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.